and giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that told me this truth that will well, and shalom on to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. This Kwadash Paya. And as you can see here, this was a, um, you know, they got uh, pictures and videos of this man that got kicked out. You know, basically because he didn't want to take his shirt off. And they didn't allow him to buy anything unless he had taken the shirt off because they stated that his shirt, due to it giving off religious um, um, symbols and things like that, it, it offends, it's offending people. You know, they wanted him to leave because he had the shirt on. As it says, right? Man wearing JC Saves t shirt at Mall of, Amer of America is ordered by a security guard to take it off or leave, right? At Nation's most famous shopping center. So, this events like this can't be ignored of because this is what's going to be the crackdown for, you know, like free speech as a whole, cracking down on certain ideologies, beliefs, religions, you know, because it offends people. But what about the Satanist after-school programs that's opening up in different schools? What about that? What about the ABC community reading to kids in, 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 in libraries, forcing them that they have the option to be whatever they want? What about that? And then... You know, this is a contradicting ass backwards nation, man. But it says, you know, the, you see the logos behind the shirt is all different symbols of these different religions, which is all, you know, um, it's all uh, false religions anyway. The Lord don't, he ain't dealing with these different symbols or even that name. His name is Yahweh Shai. Right, which is an Israelite, but this is uh, cause you know these elites, they're also trying to come up with something, uh, uh, which is what a, a one world religion, you know. But it's all business, it's all tactical. But you also have like whistleblowers, people that are speaking up about certain agendas and propagandas going on, you know, corruption. That's ran by these elites. You see? Because this is all part of their agenda. Mm -hmm. all also, with new laws for the H A T E speech, right? And, you know, this place is real, you know, fucking effeminate. Oh, it offends me. This offends me. That offends me. It's all for, it's all strategic, though, you know? That's why we must be wise as up in harmless as a dove. But not only that, let's get a scripture. I got a scripture real quick. Right? Over here, Revelation chapter 2. This is what's going to cause also not only the famine of the word, but um, imprisonment. But let's get it. Revelation chapter 2 verse. Let's start at 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich, which is talking about who, you know, you, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, right? So these are red letters, Yahweh Shai, saying, I know your works, and I know your tribulations, I know your poverty, and I know what you're going through, you know, but thou art rich, right, in the spirit, which is why we're supposed to store up our treasures in heaven. It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which are which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And you got a lot of people, a lot of people that know the Israel, but they're not they 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 they're changing doctrines, right? Scattering the sheep, you know. They're not they're false prophets, you know. But then you you also have when it states. Uh, uh, about them that say they are Jews but are not, but the synagogue of Satan is also. Um, on the flip side, talking about, you know, 
them that are dwelling in Israel today. The small hats, the ones that practice Judaism, which is not our custom. All right? You can go into a book, and I might do lessons on it, called The 13th Tribe. When they went to war with other religions, you know, for political reasons, but verse 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shall suffer. Behold, the devil, meaning deceiver, right, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, which is just a short period of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and, the, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, that's what we're fighting for, the crown of life. You know, the crown of life. A crown of life. We don't have life here. You know, in this world, in this carnal society, that goes contrary to what the scriptures say. You know, it, it brings death, bloodshed. You know, right now we got to wear our crown of thorns. Soon we're going to wear that crown of life, the elect. So I said, be thou, be thou faithful unto death. You know, like the scripture say in Sirach, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. Because what? We're going to be imprisonment for this word, man. You know, for speaking the truth, for prophesying, right? For declaring the words of Yahweh. Who the world calls God, meaning He is or He exists. In the Hebrew, Bahashem means in the name of Yahweh Shad, His only begotten Son, which means He is the deliverer. Bahashem means, you know, Raka Kodash in the Holy Spirit. Right? So even though this guy, you know, he don't really, he don't know what's going on, man, or, you know, got the dreads and all that. But, uh, Obviously, he was made as an example, you know, for others to see, like, look what's going on, you know, understand the bigger picture, right, of these tactical events, you know, it's supposed to be a public area, you know, now everything is offensive, you say certain things, you know, you look a certain way, you dress a certain way. It's like, God damn, like, what, what, what's, you know, what? <laughs> but all this is doing as well is causing more and more division. You know, as Yahweh I spoke about. But anyway, I just wanted to bring that out. And, um, yeah, with that, Shalom.